Hello, and welcome to Mr. C's presentation on big number multiplication. There's two different ways to do this. I'm going to teach you one today. It's called the lattice method. Uh, as long as you're careful and you line things up carefully, you shouldn't have a problem. If you have not learned basic multiplication yet, if you haven't memorized your facts, 5 times 10, 12 times 3, 7 times 9, you should not be watching this video. You need to memorize your basic multiplication facts and then learn big number multiplication. Okay, and I've got some videos to help you out with that if you're interested. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead. Let's have it. Let me hear it. You always let me hear it. Why? Why should I learn this? Well, there's a couple of good reasons. If you've already memorized your basic multiplication facts, this is a teeny tiny step forward. And then you can solve any multiplication problem that you ever come across. So if you learn this simple little method, you can take some basic things that you learned and turn it into really big number math, um, which is which is useful. Uh, you know, big big number multiplication is something you're going to come across in life, or something that you're going to be glad that you learned. So let's learn it. All right. There's a couple of steps that you have to take when you first sit down to do the problem. So let's go ahead and take a look at a problem. All right. We've got 76 times 42. Three steps that you have to remember. First, carefully, carefully, carefully build your lattice. Let me show you what that's going to look like. Okay, so what I do first is take the big number and put it on top. 76, and I underline it. See how I had that little tail that extended at the end there? You'll see why in a second. Because I'm going to take the second number and I'm going to write it straight up and down underneath that tail. So 42. And then I'm going to put another border right there. Okay? And now you kind of start to construct the lattice. Each one of these numbers is going to be in their own little box. So if you see, I underline the 4. I underline the 2. And then I sideline the 6. And I sideline my 7. Okay, And then I can go back through and fix it up. Whew. Almost done. What? There's another step? Yes, there's another step. You have to cut through the corners of each one of these things. So corner to corner to corner to corner and beyond. What? Yes, and beyond. And then here again, corner to corner and beyond. And then our last empty box, corner to corner and beyond. So if you look, when this lattice is built, all these empty squares that were in the middle are now cut perfectly in half from corner to corner. Do not cut these things in half down here in the middle. I know lots of students, I've had lots of students in the past whose big problem with building a lattice is they don't go from corner to corner. They just kind of slash these things up anywhere. It's going to create problems. Connect the corners. Okay, even if you have to go do each one individually because you can't do the whole thing, you know, all at once, do it. Make sure that the corners are connected and that your lattice is perfectly cut in half that way. Okay, so step one in the books. Step two, carefully do your computations. You're going to have to do a whole bunch of computations here, okay? And you better do them carefully. I'm going to do this in a different color because maybe this will help. So what you're going to do is in these boxes, you're going to answer the computation for the numbers that intersect. So in this box here, 6 and 4 intersect. So what's 6 times 4? You better know this, 24. You put the 10's place on top, 2, and the 1's place on the bottom, 4. Let's do it again for this box. Okay, what are the two numbers that intersect here? Can you identify it before I tell you? 6 and 2. What's 6 times 2? It's 12. So you put the 10's place up top, 
and the ones place on the bottom. Let's do it again over here for seven times four. What's seven times four? It's 28. Two in the tens place, eight in the ones place. And finally, seven times two is 14. Okay, step two is in the books. We only have one more step to go. We slide these numbers downhill. Okay, and there's some interesting little nuances to this. I'm going to change this color again. Okay, now look, you say this number here, number two, it's not even on a hill. Nope, it just drops right out the bottom. Okay, so two falls right out the bottom of this problem. Now here's where our hills begin to start. You see that hill right there? All these numbers are going to slide down. So you're going to do 4 plus 1 plus 4. Do you know that? Well, 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. All right, now here's a slightly trickier hill. 2 plus 8 plus 1. Well, I know 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11. I don't write 11 here. Okay, I have to carry the tens place. I'm going to write the 1 for the ones place, right? See, here's 11. Okay, we're taking the 1 from the ones place, putting it here at the bottom of the hill, but carrying the 1 from the tens place to the top of the next hill. So now on our final hill, we have 1 plus 2, which is 3. We have our answer. What? I know, it's hard to read. Okay, look, it curves around, but our answer to 76 times 42 is 3,100. And 92. Whoa! Yeah, it's awesome. Okay, think you can do that again? I'm gonna show it to you one more time. Okay, let's let's do this one more time. Okay, with this one. This is a slightly harder one. 482 times 71. So the first thing we're gonna do is carefully build our lattice. I wrote 482. I underline it and leave a tail, and then 71 underneath the tail. Do a little sideline there, and carefully fill in my lattice. Okay, all these numbers have sidelines, and then just make sure that I underline all the other ones. Okay, and now here's the hard part, corner to corner to corner and beyond. Corner to corner to corner and beyond. Corner to corner and beyond and corner to corner and beyond. All right, the lattice is built. Let's do some computations. Two times seven is 14. Two times one is two. Okay, so there doesn't always have to be a tens place. Eight times seven. Oh, this is the hard one. Uh, I know eight times five is 40 plus 16 is 56. I always had a hard time with my sixes, sevens, and eights. And then eight times one is eight. Four times seven. We did that one in the previous problem. 28. And four times one is four. Okay, carefully done all of my computations. Now let's slide these guys downhill. Whoop, the two falls out the bottom. Four plus eight is 12. I put down the ones place, two. Carry the tens place to the top of the last hill. Six plus one plus one is eight, plus four is 12 again. Put down the two, carry the one to the top of the next hill. Eight plus five, 13, plus one is 14. Put down the four, carry the one to the top of the next hill, and two plus one is three. Whoa. What is 482 times 71? It is 34,222. See how I just pulled it in that order from my top number here down around the corner? There you go. That's it, that's lattice multiplication. If you can do basic computations and you can be nice and neat and line these things up, you can multiply numbers of any size and some of these lattices will get huge. So you're gonna play with this. So I want you to try this out, okay? But first, let's just quickly talk about what we learned again. First, big number multiplication is useful. 
You can, you know, multiply numbers of any size if you know how to do basic little single digit computations. And secondly, if you're using the lattice method, you have to, have to, have to be careful. You must carefully line it up. You must carefully do your computations. One little mistake will screw up your whole problem. Okay, if I had gotten one of those computations wrong in my previous two lattices, I would have gotten the whole problem wrong. Okay, your teacher sees the wrong answer, it's the wrong answer. It's not like you get partial credit for a multiplication problem. So if you're gonna take the time to do this, really be careful and make sure that you do it the right way, okay? And the only way to make sure you know how to do it is to try it, try it, try it. So I'm gonna give you a bunch of problems here that I want you to try. Okay, first one, 74 times 300, uh, sorry, 747 times 333. Your second one, 23 times 53. The third problem, this one's a little hard. This is kind of a tough lattice to line up. 4,501 times 12. And then the last one, I think this one is also pretty challenging. 555 times 9,999. Solve these problems, check them with a calculator afterwards. Show them to your teacher, show them to your mom, show them to your grandma, whoever it is who's helping you out with math. Show them that you know how to do this and then maybe practice a few on your own. Okay, hope this helped. Good luck.